On this week's edition of the Business Review, one local manufacturer is changing her business model to adapt to the market. Andrew Ledley has details. Julie Taylor is a bag manufacturer who has been in operation for 30 years. The entrepreneur is now adding to her line of products as the need for masks in Jamaica rise. This, this pandemic is serious, you know, so if you're that mask is not available, so maybe the same fabric can, can be used. And I just got up, picked up the fabric, and it was a straight one. I did the straight ones, not like this one. And I just did one, and I put it on, and that was it. She says the priority is to get more masks to those fighting the pandemic on the front line. I decided to make some for our police force and also for the, the medical team if we can go that far. So it, I want to start with the police force because they're out there every day in this trying to curb the, the, um, the crime and also to keep persons off the road and to deal with persons and the this virus is not is a very serious one. So I'm decided of giving the Spanish Town Police Force 50 to start. But Miss Taylor explains that the conditions have also started to take a toll on her business. I'm trying to bounce back because this pandemic has toppled me over. You know, my business of about seven persons have to be cut in now. And most of them is going because of this um, situation. That's praying for good to prevail and so so. I'm just putting my little bit in and donating back to my Jamaica. Notwithstanding, the entrepreneur is confident she can produce sufficient masks to meet the local demand. Well, I think about less than five minutes or less than three minutes, depending on how everything put together and everything already. You know, so this is a little intricate one, so it takes a little bit longer. But the smaller, simpler ones just take so long. So like last week, Monday, I did about 60-something on my own, actually, because the staff is not here. So. I can push out to about 100 a day or so or more. And we have a lot of others coming in, persons 150, some all over the place, all over St. Elizabeth as far. I just put on my status page and I said, look, mass is in production, let's get this going, you know. I started out selling for $50 just to get rid of the fabric. But then we had to add some stuff to like getting them in bags. Moving forward, the entrepreneur also had this appeal. We need persons to come on board to help us. I'm just putting in 50 for now, and when I can get more, I can do some more for the, 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 um, the medical team, the nurses who are there. Uh, entirely thank you guys, and also to help with the homeless guys. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News.